Hey guys and girls, welcome back to your fourth HTML5 and CSS3 Canvas tutorial which is presented to you by iFactioner.com So guys and girls, we have been discussing about how to create a canvas and draw lines on it using external canvas uh, uh, cascading style sheet and JavaScript file Right now, we have already developed a canvas to HTML file, introduced a canvas element in that file, and we have linked that file to canvas2.css file. We have also created canvas2.css file, and we have uh, tried to stylize our canvas in that CSS file. And we have also created canvas2.js file. Right now it is empty and we are going to uh, draw lines on our canvas with the help of this file. First of all, I uh, will show you uh, right now the output of our canvas2.html file. It has a white background color with a pink canvas and a yellow border. So what will we do? First of all, we go to canvas.2.html and we tell our canvas2.html file that here you need to run a script from an external file and the source of that file is canvas2.js so script source equals to double quotes canvas2.js double quotes and greater than sign and then I can close my script tag so I do not have to tell my HTML page that it, it is a JavaScript file because it would uh, assume that it's a JavaScript file and now I go to my canvas2.js file and I write in JavaScript. I define a variable can and tells it to go to HTML page and it is represented by document dot and get an element whose ID is new canvas so I write where can equals to document which is HTML page dot get element by ID function and to get an element whose ID is new canvas so now this uh, variable has got all the properties of our canvas element and uh, it can also use all the methods of those of that canvas element and now we define an other variable j ctx context variable and tells our uh, javascript file to get hold on that canvas file and get a paintbrush and try to draw something on it to draw something on it so I say variable jctx uh, equals to can because now the, this canvas element is represented by can variable dot get context method and get the context in 2D so right now we have got uh, uh, the context available in 2D and in the near future we will be able to get the 3D. Right now there are spe uh, vendor specific 3D uh, contexts available but in the HTML5 we have only got a standardized 2D uh, context. And uh, now what we would like to do? We would like to uh, tell our cursor to move to a specific point to an x-axis and a y-axis with respect to x-axis and y-axis so I want to tell my cursor to go to 10 pixels by 10 pixels on x and y-axis over here and then 
you need to uh, draw a line to let's suppose 390 pixels by 390 pixels so it would uh, 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 draw a line from here to here or uh, I can say that you need to draw a line from 10 pixels to 10 pixels first move your cursor to 10 pixels by 10 pixels and draw a line to 200 pixels on x-axis which is right this and 400 pixels on the y-axis and because y-axis is presented by the vertical line it would be over here and then I uh, once I know that I need to move my cursor from here to here line 2 then I would draw that line with the stroke method how can we do that it is really simple you just need to tell your context to move the cursor to 10 pixels by 10 pixels on x and y axis x axis I write the comments so it would be easier for you so the first element uh, is first dimension is for the x axis and the di second dimen uh, uh, dimension is for the y axis and then I tell my JavaScript file that you need to draw the line up to which point so I use jctx dot line oh I need to write it's uh, remember that uh, JavaScript uh, methods uh, we are using over here are case sensitive so you have to write like this so I cannot try uh, uh, write with capital L and I say that on the x-axis I want my cursor to go to 200 pixels which is almost the center of our 400 pixels wide canvas so I tell that I want my cursor to go to 200 pixels on x-axis and on y-axis I need to draw the line over here so I tell it that you need to go to 400 pixels down and then I need to actually draw the line so how can I draw the line is jctx dot stroke so with the stroke I say that you need to move from here to here and then draw the line and by default if you refresh your page there is a problem let's uh, see what is the problem so we say that variable can so yeah the problem was that I did not save my canvas2.html file I click on the save button and yeah I just refresh my page and it draws a line it moves the cursor to 10 by 10 pixels and then it knows that it needs to draw the line to 200 pixels on the x-axis and uh, 400 pixels on the y-axis and then with the stroke method we have drawn our line and uh, we can change the properties of our line so I can uh, tell uh, my, li uh, my uh, line that uh, its uh, color should be red for that I would be using its stroke property so stroke style equals to you can say it should be blue right I click on the save button go to my browser window click on refresh or reload this page button and now see that our line has been turned into blue 
and in the next tutorial we would uh, continue our discussion and we would uh, see how can we change the width of this line and how can we draw our triangle using uh, these two method these three methods so join me in the next trifractional.com tutorial thank you very much take care bye bye